Core Concepts for Open Architecture AV Design. Chapter 16, Build a Site File. Congratulations, you've made it to the final chapter of the online training. This chapter explains the basics of building a site file with instructions to build one. The final test to pass the core concepts for open architecture AV design is to create your own site file exactly as the shown example, plus several control options added at the end. This chapter will walk you through the shown programming, however, will not walk through the control programming. The control requirements will be listed at the end of this presentation, and you will be expected to complete this programming. Please use the video controls and the chapter text on these pages to go at your own pace. Don't hesitate to return to a previous chapter or section for reference. The entire course is free and open for use. Reaching out to Symmetric Support for Assistance does not disqualify your submission, but is discouraged as they cannot offer step-by-step -step guidance. However, clarification on concepts is welcome. Complete the site file and submit it to the Symmetric Support team. They will review your submission and, when satisfactory, provide Composer certification. The site file will contain input processing, including a Dante Receive Bus and Auto Gain Control for line-level program material. The middle processing contains an auto mixer for microphones, program material source selection for each zone using mono input selectors, duckers to allow microphones to duck the program material for each zone and a mono distributor. Loudspeaker managers for zones one through four are used for output processing. Use the speaker managers for EQ, filtering, delay, and to adjust the signal level for each zone, all within a single module. Auto gain control is used for assisted listening. Gain modules are used for level control for the record and restroom outputs. The site file also includes a Dante transmit bus wired from the selected wire audio module facilitating troubleshooting and monitoring of the signal path. An emergency system mute scenario will also be programmed and controlled using an external analog switch or contact closure. Now let's begin building your site file. Pay close attention to placement of modules and wiring to help keep organized along the way. Begin building the site file by adding a prism 8x8 from the toolkit. Next, add an XIO 4x4 from the toolkit. Double-click the XIO 4x4 to open the unit properties. Label the inputs channels as shown. Note these are Dante audio transmission channels, meaning they will transmit to the prism. Next, double-click and open the prism 8x8. Then double-click to open and label all inputs and outputs as shown. In Toolkit under Network I.O. Modules, Receive Modules, add the Receive Bus from the XIO 4x4. Under Mixers and Gains, Trims, add a 4-input trim module and wire it as shown. Right-click on Trim Module and select Relabel All Downstream Signals. Next, under Auto Mixers, Master Gain Sharing Auto Mixers, add a 4-input Auto Mixer. Under the Dynamics, AGCs, add two Dual Mono AGC Modules. Wire the Auto Mixer and AGC Modules as shown. Wire the custom input selector module as shown. Right-click on both the unit inputs and trim modules and select Relabel all downstream signals. Under routers and selectors, mono input selectors, add four custom input selectors with nine inputs. Open all mono input selectors and edit the channel labels for input nine to read off. Under dynamics duckers, add two dual mono duckers and wire them as shown. Next, wire all side inputs of the duckers in parallel, as shown. This ensures that a single audio input affects all four duckers as one unit. Under vias, place new via pair, drag a pair into the design, double-click and label them paging. Move each via into place and wire them as shown. Double-click each ducker module and unmute their side chain. Next, create a Dante transmit bus under network I.O. modules, new network transmit module. Either double-click or drag the bus into the design to open the Network Transmit Properties window. Label Dante Bus and Channel Names as shown, and then click OK. Place the new Transmit Bus under the Unit Outputs module. This bus will send back to the XIO 4x4. Under Routers and Selectors, Mono Distributors, add a 4-output Mono Distributor. Then bring in another VIA pair and label them AUX. Wire the AUX output node to the Mono Distributor as shown and move the input node up and right of the ducker. Under Loudspeaker Management, add in two dual mono loudspeaker managers. Wire them to the ducker outputs as shown, then branch off the topmost wire to the aux via. From the Dynamics menu of the toolkit, add a mono AGC and wire the AGC as shown. Under Mixers and Gains, Gains, add both a mono and stereo gain module. 
wire them to the mono distributor as shown. Under filters, specialty filters mono, add a high pass 24 dB per octave filter and place it after the mono gain module. Next, wire the high pass filter to the mono gain. Under dynamics, compressor limiters, add four dual mono limiters and wire the limiters as shown. Next, wire the limiters to the outputs as shown. Right-click on the Dante Transmit module and select Relabel All Upstream Signals. Create a single-channel Dante Transmit bus. Label the bus selected wire and label the channel monitor. Wire the Dante Transmit bus to the selected wire module. Close the Design View page and return to the Site View page. Right-click the XIO 4x4 and choose Unit Properties. Double-click the first channel of the Dante Audio Reception window. Select the bus labeled to Rack Room, then click OK. The Dante Transmit bus is now assigned to the XIO 4x4. Now that the audio signal bus has been created, next, build the control portion for an emergency system mute. Under Control Modules, Control Inputs, add a one-button momentary module. Under Control Modules, Control Processes, add an inverter module. Under Control Modules, Control Accessories, add a dual preset trigger module and wire modules as shown. Open both preset triggers. The default preset number is 1. Note that presets 999 and 1000 are available by default in Composer. Preset 999 will mute all hardware. Preset 1000 will unmute all hardware. Assign preset 999 and 1000 to the preset triggers. Now open the one button momentary module. Right click the on button and choose setup to remote control. From the setup remote control window, select the prism local analog input. Then using the drop down menu, select switch 1A. Switch 1A of the local logic inputs is now assigned to control the one button momentary module. Add a text box from the toolkit and edit the text to read Emergency System Mute. Disable Auto Size and check Vertical Alignment to Top. Change the background color to opaque and select a light color, other than white. This example uses a gray background. Then click OK. Once placed, in the Properties tab, change the custom font settings to a larger size and set it to bold. Resize the text box by holding the Shift key and using the keyboard arrow keys. Move the box on top of the logic modules, right click and choose Send to Back. The emergency system mute is now programmed. And that's it. Your site file is now complete and ready for control programming. Take a break if needed, double check your module placement and wiring, and let's continue. Adding system control in your site file is both powerful and critical for a positive end user experience. While adding control to this site file, don't hesitate to revisit previous chapters to refresh on certain concepts or processes. Your completed site file must include the following control programming for a passing grade. Four individual W3 remotes for zones one through four, one for each zone, which will be identical to the ArcWeb remote controls. Zone gain adjustment and zone mute from the loudspeaker manager. Source selection using the mono input selector and microphone gain control from the auto mixer. Your site file will also include four individual ArcWeb instances for zones one through four, one for each zone, which will be identical to the W3 remote controls. Zone gain adjustment and zone mute from the loudspeaker manager. Source selection using the mono input selector and microphone gain control from the auto mixer. Finally, you'll need to add four T7 control screens, one for each zone. Each screen will have zone gain adjustment and zone mute from the loudspeaker manager. Source selection using the mono input selector. Paging gain for each zone via the sidechain mix in the zone ducker modules. Control screen viewer buttons for navigation between the four zone control screens, including a basic home screen. Reiterating, each zone's W3 remote should be unique and only include the following controls a zone volume and zone mute control for that particular zone, source selection for that particular zone, and a microphone gain for that particular zone. It is helpful to note that the individual zones will be in order of the microphone channels. Zone 1, mic 1, zone 2, mic 2, and so on. Each zone's ArcWeb remote should be unique and only include the following controls, the same as the W-Series remote, a zone volume and zone mute control for that particular zone, source selection for that particular zone, and a microphone gain for that particular zone. Finally, each zone's touchscreen should include these controls. Zone gain adjustment and zone mute for that particular zone, source selection for that particular zone, paging gain for that zone, and control screen viewer buttons for navigation between control screens. It is helpful to note that the control screens are not graded by appearance and are only based on the required controls being present. Upload your completed site file for grading by following these instructions. 
Put your completed site file into a folder and compress it to a zip file. Within the Core Concepts course, select Upload a File. Select Upload your reply, or Upload your reply and continue. Locate and select the file. Select Open. The button below will then say, Pending reply from instructor. This confirms the site file has been submitted for grading. You will receive an email confirmation with your grade and certification status within the next five contiguous business days. The whole SIM family sincerely appreciates your time in taking the core concepts for Open Architecture AV Design course and looks forward to answering any questions you may have. Please complete the course evaluation if prompted so that we can continue to improve our training programs and provide the highest quality resources possible. And of course, email info at symmetrics.co anytime if we can be of further assistance.